it's my great honour to introduce to you from Stop the War, Lindsay German. Thank you. Thanks very much, Romaine. One of the things about this budget is not only that it is cutting welfare for the poorest, that it is making life harder for those who already have the hardest time in society, but it's also a budget where they are refusing to seriously cut any military spending. This country spends more than virtually every country in the world on its military. It has the biggest army in Europe. Why? It has the biggest arms spending of anywhere other than the United States, Russia and China. Why? It doesn't need an army that size. It doesn't need military spending that size. It, and it, while it has the biggest army in Europe, it has a lousy record on everything from education to maternity leave to housing, if you compare it with other countries in Europe. And what this government is trying to do is it's trying to scapegoat not just the immigrants and not just the people on benefits and not just the people we've talked about. It's also trying to scapegoat teachers. It's also trying to scapegoat nurses. It says there are failing schools and failing hospitals. Why do we never hear about the failing military, which has taken us into war after war, which have been a disaster in the last 11 or 12 years? Why do they never own up to the fact that these wars have not helped the poor of those countries? They have made life much, much worse for the people of those countries. Why do they never own up to the fact that every time they want a war, there's suddenly money in the budget? When they wanted to take us to war against Syria last August, nobody mentioned the fact that we don't have enough money to go to war. Nobody says a cruise missile costs a million pounds every time it's fired. Now you think about what that means. If there is a war in Ukraine, if there is a war in Ukraine, they will find the money and it will come from the poorest people in this country and they will expect the poorest people to fight. That is what is wrong with this government. It's a government of capitalists, of neoliberals and of warmongers. And all the things go together. And when we're talking about fighting back, we have to fight not just against the last wars and the next wars, but against a system which creates war. We live in a world which is more and more militarised, where more and more arms are sold, where more and more people are suffering from wars. And as the world gets worse, as climate change gets worse, there will be more wars because there will be shortages of water and shortages of food. There will be more wars because people will try to get from countries where they can't get water and food to the countries where they still can get water and food. And then they'll be scapegoated as asylum seekers and immigrants. We have to say this is a rotten system. The budget today is one element of that rotten system. But we have to campaign to fight against it and to fight for a much fairer and a more just world. So please do everything. Thanks for coming tonight, but please do everything you can to campaign against war, to campaign against all of this inequality that they're enforcing on the poorest of us in the country and let's get out there let's get out there in memory of Tony Benn and Bob Crow on May Day let's get out there on the 21st of June which is a demonstration against austerity and for a decent education system for everybody let's get out on the streets we have to say to this government enough is enough and if Labour isn't listening they are going to be forced to listen by a mass movement on the streets which forces them to change their policies thank you very much <laughs> Thank you very much, Lindsay German. And to remind us where we must be and why we must be together on Saturday the 22nd, 